Now, a parallelogram is basically a what? Uh, a, 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 a quadrilateral. Okay, so it is a quadrilateral. Now, what kind of a quadrilateral is it? It is quadrilateral. It is a uh, parallel. It, the mm -hmm. opposite has a parallel. Yeah. Hi, Nara. Good evening. Okay. So we just started. Okay. So a parallelogram is something that has opposite sides parallel. Okay. So it has what? We come to know that these sides, the opposite sides are parallel. That is the basic, basic definition of a parallelogram. When you have AB parallel to CD and AD parallel to BC, okay, then it is known as a parallelogram. But the other properties of parallelogram are what? AB is equals to CD, okay, and AD is equals to BC. Okay, the other property is angle A would be equals to angle C and angle B is equals to angle D. Okay, and its diagonals are not equal. AC will not be equals to BD. Okay, this property is clear. All these properties, property number one, property number two, property number three and property number four. I'll come to, there are more properties. We'll come to that in a while. The property of other diagonal parts also. Or let's do it right now only Y2, Y2, wait for that, okay? Let's look at the diagonals also, okay? If you look at the diagonals, okay? The diagonals bisect each other. Diagonals do what? bisect each other diagonals okay meaning if bisect each other ka matlab kya ho jayega beta bo will be equals to bo will be equals to do i need to switch off my video where is the video here gone okay and ao will be equals to what Exactly. Okay. Also, also in this triangle, AOB will be congruent to triangle COD and triangle AOD will be congruent to triangle BOC. So you can take these as the properties of congruent that uh, parallelogram more you can write you can again write angle triangle a b d is also congruent to triangle b d c and triangle a d c is congruent to triangle a d c a, a d c then a b c take care are you following it in the diagram? Yeah. Now, now we come, okay, now we come to a next type of a parallelogram, okay, whose definition says that it a parallelogram with an angle 90 degrees is known as a rectangle. A parallelogram with an angle 90 degrees is known as a what a rectangle take yeah. so parallelogram ke sare properties will be here a b parallel to a b will be parallel to tc yeah and then a d will be parallel to bc a d will be parallel to bc 
okay also ab will be equals to d c okay opposite sides are equal and ad will be equals to d c okay and angle a is equals to angle b is equals to angle c is equals to angle d all of them would be 90 degrees each okay now the difference comes here this one is 90 degrees the other difference is the diagonals will be equal ac will be equals to bd in a parallelogram ac was not equals to bd this is my dear fellows ac and this is our bd so when we did when we did what when we did the parallelogram they were not equal in a rectangle, AC will be equals to what? BD. Okay. So this is fine. Okay. Now, now let's remove one of the diagonals for a while. Now, the other properties would be the same. Triangle ADC is congruent to which triangle? Yes, triangle A, B, C. Okay. And then, and then let's have, let's erase this one. Okay. And then we make the other diagonal now. When we have this other diagonal out here, now triangle A, B, D is congruent to which triangle? Uh, coming to A D B. A. Oh, no. B C D. Yeah, B C D. Okay. Now I join both of them. Okay. And what happens is the diagonals bisect each other. The diagonals do what? The diagonals bisect each other. So A O would be equals to what? C O, okay, and B O would be equals to what? D O. Exactly, okay. B O would be equals to D O. Okay, the diagonals bisect each other. Now, the next one, if you look now out here, this triangle will be congruent to this triangle. So triangle A O B would be congruent to which triangle uh, D -O -C. D -O -C. okay and then this triangle will be congruent to this triangle triangle a o d is congruent to which triangle D -O -C. Belkal Sahib. Okay, so this is the rectangle. Now, the other type, the other type of our parallelogram is a rhombus. A rhombus is a parallelogram in which the adjacent sides are equal. In which the adjacent sides are what? Equal. Okay, I did not think to shape. Let's think to shape out here. Now, take it. So, ye parallelogram, what do you mean by adjacent sides? If I say A, B, C, D. Now, tell me which lines are parallel. A, B will be parallel to what? Okay. Exactly, D, C. Okay. And A, D will be parallel to what? BC. Okay. And here AB is equals to something, is equals to something, is equals to something. What are those somethings? AB is equals to what? Is equals to what? Is equals to what?
A B is equals to A Shabash. Okay. Now, in this case also, the diagonals are not equal. A C will not be equals to B D. A C will not be equals to B D. But the diagonals bisect each other. They are. They do what? They would bisect each other and they are perpendicular to each other. They would bisect and be what? Perpendicular to each other. So AO would be equals to what? AO would be equals to CO. BO would be equals to what? Exactly. And they are perpendicular bisectors. Perpendicular bisectors means this angle would be 90 degrees. Okay. That means angle AOB is equals to angle BOC is equals to angle COD is equals to angle DOA, which is 90 degrees. Okay. What is AOB? This angle. What is BOC? This angle. What is COD? This angle. And what is DOA? This angle. Okay. The triangles will come to it later. The triangles are always there. Now, kiska phone agya? Now there is. Okay. Now there is one more type of a uh, quadrilateral that is known as a square. Okay, one more type of a parallelogram that is known as a square. So a square is a parallelogram or a rectangle in which all the sides are equal. Okay, so let's look at the first thing. AB will be parallel to what? Mm -hmm. Perfectly fine. AB is parallel to? And AD is parallel to? Yes, perfect. Now we are getting the hang of it. Okay. And AB is equals to dash is equals to dash is equals to dash. <coughs> so... Okay, and each angle is equals to 90 degrees. Each angle is equals to 90 degrees. So angle A is equals to angle B is equals to angle C is equals to angle D is equals to 90. Okay, the diagonals are equal. The diagonals are what? Equal. So AB is equals to CD, okay? And they bisect each other at 90 degrees, meaning AO will be equals to CO and BO would be equals to AO is equals to CO. And BO would be equals to mm -hmm. DO, and they bisect each other perpendicularly. So each interior angle, angle AOB, is equals to angle BOC, is equals to angle COD, is equals to angle DOA, that would be equals to 90 degrees. Take care. Now, now let's tell it to you all in a nutshell, okay? The first thing that we did, the first thing that we did is a parallelogram, okay? A, B, C, D. The second thing that we did was a rectangle, A, B, C, 
D. The fourth thing that we did was a rhombus A, B, C, D. The fifth thing that we did was a square A, D, C, D. Now, if we look at, okay, first things first, you'll see in all of them, AB is parallel to CD and AD is parallel to BC. See, in every one, this has to be there. So all of them are basically examples of what? All of them are examples of parallelograms. A rectangle is also a parallelogram. A rhombus is also a parallelogram. And a square is also a parallelogram. Okay? So AD is parallel to BC and outer also same thing. Now the difference starts coming. The difference starts coming when you look at the equality of the sides. Second property. In a rhombus, opposite sides are equal. AB is equals to CD. Okay? And AD is equals to BC. Okay? In a rectangle also, the opposite sides are equal. AB is equals to CD and AD is equals to BC. But in our rhombus, all the sides are equal to each other. AB is equals to BC is equals to CD is equals to DA. And in a square also, all the sides are equal. Okay? So herein comes the first difference. Now, the next one. Okay, sides are done. In this, opposite angles are equal. Angle A is equals to angle C and angle B is equals to angle D. Out here, all angles are equals to 90 degrees. Angle A equals to angle B is equals to angle C equals to angle D is equals to 90 degrees. In this case, opposite angles are equal again. Angle A is equals to angle C and angle B is equals to angle D. And out here again, each angle is equals to 90 degrees. Okay. So this is another one. Now, the fourth one is diagonals are equal, unequal. AC is not equals to BD in this case. In this case, AC will be equals to BD. In this case, AC will not be equals to, will not be equals to BD. And out here, AC is again equals to BD. Okay. Now, if you look at both the diagonals in conjunction, so out here diagonals bisect each other only diagonals bisect out here diagonals bisect okay out here also diagonals bisect but out here diagonals bisect at right angles at 90 degrees here also diagonals bisect at 90 degrees. So is this clear? 